first tonight, a unique perspective on lockdown in our care homes from the manager who recorded every twist and turn in a personal diary. David Maguire runs the Edensor Care Centre in Clacton. He was quick to ban relatives at the start of the pandemic and strict with the authorities who wanted to transfer residents from hospitals. Four months on, his home has remained COVID-free. Now, with lockdown easing, he's been speaking to our health correspondent, Nikki Fox. The Edensor Care Centre in Clacton, run by David Maguire, who's originally from Spain. Seeing many residents die abroad from the virus, he locked down his care home weeks before he was advised to. Last night, I counted every single hour that passed. I could not sleep for a second, worrying whether it was the right decision or not. Do you have your breakfast today? I 100% think they made the right decision by shutting down early. But, however, we have missed the close contact. So it's that cuddle when you come in and that sort of kiss goodbye, you know, when you leave, um, which you can't do at the moment. Sunday, March 16th, 2020. The news in Spain reflects a country in an alarming state. Yet in the UK, there is still barely a reaction. Oh, it was very, very frightening, really bad. I mean, we, we, we didn't know what to do. We went to our farm shops and all that, and we bought all the potatoes, because that's one of the major things for our residents, like, you know, because it was all running out from the, all the shops. The government guidance is that no mask will be delivered to us until someone is infected. But I don't want anyone infected. We only had one a week. We were spraying it with a disinfectant, like an alcohol spray type. Um, that wasn't very nice, but it was better than nothing. Nationally, 25,000 people would be discharged from hospitals into care homes, many with no COVID test. In Essex, the county council says it followed national guidelines and no one should have been discharged unless safe. Monday, April 6th, 2020. I had to warn local authority and give them a very clear message. After seeing what has happened in Spanish care homes, we will not accept any new resident coming from hospital or any other home without a negative test from COVID first. Essex were not happy, as we were not following the government guidance again. I have never, ever in my whole life said no to anyone to come into our care. I mean, it's hard. But I need also to think about the people who were in, in our care already. How much of a difficult position was that to be in? I don't want to be in that position ever again. Saturday, April 11, 2020. Delivery arrived from CCG. A box of out-of-date masks and one protective suit. Three months later, there is enough PPE, with residents getting used to masks and measures. These people, you know, they've looked after us our whole lives. Most of them went through the war. They've done things that we couldn't even dream of. And, um... <clears throat> No, it's just, it's just upsetting how, oh no, it upsets me. It's upsetting how they um, just end up getting left. And that's the reality of it. One in three care homes has had a COVID outbreak, but not the Edensor, where they hope lessons can be learnt to keep everyone safe if there's a second wave. Nikki Fox, BBC Look East. So that's a care home without any cases, but of course more than a thousand care home residents have died across Norfolk, Suffolk and Essex.